And I think stories um, are aimed essentially to change someone's mind. You, when you write a story, your aim is for someone reading it or listening to it, they will think something different afterwards. And I think- Even a perspective a, perhaps, yeah. Yeah, and I think that has a far larger effect um, on people who can't necessarily change government policies or anything as large as that, but stories are just as important. I absolutely agree. And who else here would like to like to have a quick word? I have some names of people who are who are brave enough to speak. Is Nina there? Nina's not there. Or or Paula? Is that pa oh Nina? Hello, Nina. Oh, now I can Hi. see names. Hi, Nina. That's wonderful. I need to see names underneath you all. Uh, tell me, tell me your views. What do you think about why are stories important? Why do you write stories? Um, I write stories to inspire people and I think stories are important, not just the writing of them, but the reading of them, because it's a way to like escape reality, like you can go to a different time, to a different situation and see how the world changed. Like if you read stories from long ago, you see the conflicts there, there and then you read the stories we have today and you can see the changes happened, changes that have happened through the stories. So yeah. So, and that I have, I have got, th I get it through this whole event. I get that you guys uh, feel that your stories can, can bring about change. And, and that's wonderful. Pa uh, Paula, I, I see your name here too. Do you feel that? Do you feel that you can bring about change? And if so, how does writing a story produce change? Well, I think writing a story is an act of bravery and um, most importantly, an act of empathy. So by the simple decision to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and to decide to explore a universal human emotion, uh, even if the circumstances that you describe are more specific to you or are more personal given your upbringing, um, to me, that's sort of the power to appeal to the humanity that is linking all together. And so it's something that connects us all, even when our differences are so stark, uh, our compassion just sort of binds us and it's amazing. I know the optimism and uh, idealism that I'm seeing in these stories, it, it really does give one uh, a, lot of, a lot of hope. Uh, so uh, Zaria, do we have Zaria? I'm looking through all the names. You may be not here. Uh, I'm literally reading out the names of the people who said they were willing to speak. Ah, Zaria, I see you in the corner there. Hello. Would you like to add something to this? Why do you write stories? Um, I've always loved to craft characters and create plot lines. And I was able to find my own voice through writing. And once I grew older and learned about the complications of society, I wondered what I could be doing to play my part. And so on the road to this, I put my ability to write to a greater purpose than just, I guess, fantasy stories and started to talk about real topics in efforts to raise awareness. Because I do believe that when fiction starts paralleling reality, it starts to spark conversations and it gets people talking about the difficult stuff. And these conversations, they're really designed to bring people together, which is the best way to instigate change. Um, and bringing people together is 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 really a, a fairly universal theme going on here. Adonna, I don't know whether we have you. I don't know if there's a second page. Adonna, yes, hello, I mm -hmm. see you there. Um, and really, I we've been blown away, all of us, the judges, me, everyone else by, uh, how children from all over the world have responded, but also the themes that have been running through your work, the, 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 the common themes, um, and they really are idealistic and they really are about trying to make the future better. Uh, is that something that you would like to take on, Adonna? Yes, definitely. I feel like my story is essentially a youthful expression of the message that diversity often accounts for societal division and challenges in today's world. It is important to talk about these challenges we face to create awareness and take active steps towards change in a united future. I feel like storytelling 
is an unfiltered mode of free expression that helps connect young people globally and helps us interact with each other by sharing our ideas, which are based on personal experiences. That is wonderful. I'm so life. sorry, Adonna, to, to cut you off a little bit because I'm being told we have to wrap up. But uh, thank you, all of you. You are all amazing. You are going on to amazing futures. So uh, just I would like to thank all of you and to everyone who's joined us from all over the world, especially to every child who sent in a story. and. What I take away from the tales we've heard today is a real sense that the world needs to change and that kids are ready to make that happen. Uh, I think the, that we all get the message that stories, whether they're pointing to solutions or problems, will help get us there. So good luck to all the kids. It's your turn next. Go out and change the world. Thank you very, very much to all of you. Thank you.